welcome to today's daily devotional reading from the Vitality for Daily Living, authored by Prophet Daniel Ejako Afari. Today is Wednesday, the 2nd of August, 2023. And our, our theme for today is when your mind is blinded. Our anchor scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. I'm reading from the New King James Version. But their minds were blinded. For until this day, the same veil remains unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament. Because the veil is taken away in Christ. But even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil lies on their heart. Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the inspiration. To be blind is to suffer inability to see or to lack sight. It also means the unwillingness or inability to perceive or understand. And again, it means to lack judgment or to be ignorant. Typically, we know blindness to be an issue with the eyes. So when the Bible talks about the mind being blinded, it is more spiritual than just a reference to the physical mind. When your mind is blinded, you can't see the reality of what the word of God is saying. That is, you can't believe. Hear what Paul said. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. When the Bible states clearly, for instance, he himself took your infirmities, your response is, how is that possible? Pastor is boldly declaring, you cannot be sick and you cannot be poor. For you, that is proud talk. Some will say, I have heard that severally but nothing has changed. The reason is that you can't see it happening with your mind's eye. In our work with God, whatever promises he has for us until we picture the reality of it and see those promises manifesting with our mind's eye, there is no way belief will build up in our hearts. And we cannot become what which we don't believe. Unfortunately, the God of this world is responsible for blinding the minds of people from believing. He is responsible for casting doubt in the minds and hearts of people not to believe God's word being preached or declared. When you are blinded internally, you can't believe anything relating to God and his word. Satan blinds people's mind in order to keep them in continuous captivity. When you want to pay tight, for example, he comes to you saying, Are you going to pay your tight? There are so many bills to be paid, and you want to give this money to the pastor for free. It will affect your budget. Rather, go and save it and give it to an orphanage. Why? Satan wants to keep you in the captivity of poverty. After today, the blindness preventing you from seeing the promises of God concerning your life from his word is dropping off now in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, Open my eyes to see the things written concerning me, the things pertaining to me, and the things written about me. Lord, please open my eyes to behold the wondrous things concerning me out of the Bible. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To read the Bible in one year, for today, read Psalms chapter 68 and 69, and Romans chapter 3. God bless you.